What's up, guys? This is Dave from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for Monday, September 23rd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, guys, let's dive into the pitcher position. I like Eduardo Rodriguez. He's got a great matchup here pitching against the 22nd worst batting team, the San Francisco Giants. Eduardo Rodriguez is only giving up a .614 OPS, and he's facing five righties tonight, which is favorable since his OPS versus righty is .682. He also has been keeping the Giants to a .219 batting average. He's 6,500 DraftKings salary, and he averaged 16 fantasy points per game on the season last year. His recent performances have been stellar, scoring 33, 17, and minus four fantasy points in his last three games. So, I like Eduardo Rodriguez here versus the San Francisco Giants. Next, let's take a look at the catcher position. I like Yaner Diaz. He's batting against a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from Seattle. Yaner Diaz bats 34% better versus righty pitchers with a .939 OPS versus righties. And against this pitcher, he's hitting a .333 batting average with six at-bats and a .833 OPS. Diaz is coming off a few solid games, scoring 17, 12, and 15 fantasy points. At 4,600 on DraftKings, he's a solid option behind the plate. So, I like Yaner Diaz here versus the Seattle Mariners. Okay, on to the first base position. I like Spencer Horwitz. He's facing a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from Boston. Horwitz bats 29% better versus right-handed pitchers with a .754 OPS versus righties. Against this specific pitcher, Horwitz has a .250 batting average in four at-bats. He's priced at 3,800 on DraftKings, making him a cost-effective option for the night. He scored two, 12, and zero fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Spencer Horwitz here versus the Boston Red Sox. At second base, check out Kettle Mart. He's got the best matchup on the slate, batting against a super low salary pitcher from the San Francisco Giants. Marty bats well from both sides with an OPS of .884 against lefties and .830 against righties, adding a solid 35 home runs this season. Marte put up 1832 and 26 fantasy points in his last three games, and he's priced at 6000 on DraftKings. So I really like Kettle Marty here versus the San Francisco Giants. For the third base position, pay attention to Matt Chapman. He's batting against a low-salary pitcher from Arizona. Chapman bats 20% better against lefties with a strong .907 OPS versus lefties. Against Eduardo Rodriguez, Chapman has been quite successful hitting a .429 batting average and 14 at-bats. This translates to an excellent .181 OPS with four doubles. He's priced at 4500 on DraftKings, making him a valuable pick for your lineups. So I like Matt Chapman here versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now let's take a look at the shortstop position. I'm going with Treya Turner. He's facing a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from the Cubs. Turner has a career batting average of .333 against this pitcher in three at-bats, and he puts up a .803 OPS versus right-handed pitchers. Recently, he scored 18, 0, and 24 fantasy points in his last three games. At 5,700 on DraftKings, Turner is a fantastic pick. According to NBC Sports, Turner has been key in the Phillies' recent dominance with standout performances. So, I like Treya Turner here versus the Chicago Cubs. Finally, in the outfield, I'm rolling with Kyle Tucker. He's facing a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from Seattle. Tucker holds a .861 OPS against righties, and while his batting average against this pitcher is low at .143, that one hit was a home run. Recently, Tucker has scored 6, 29, and 27 fantasy points. Priced at 5,800 on DraftKings, Tucker has immense upside potential, so I really like Kyle Tucker here versus the Seattle Mariners. Before I continue with the value picks, remember you can try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself by clicking the link in the description of this video. Okay, back to the value picks. Now for some value plays, I like Hayden Birdsong for pitching. He's facing a tough batting team in Arizona, but Birdsong averages 12 fantasy points and puts up good strikeout numbers. At catcher, consider Miguel Amaya. He's facing a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from Philadelphia and scored 21 fantasy points two games ago. For first base, Justin Turner is a solid pick. He's facing a middle-of-the-pack pitcher from Houston and scored steady points recently. 
Second base also has Brett Wisely. He's against a low salary pitcher in Arizona and scored points more consistently than not. For third base, Josh Rojas is a great value. He's fared well against his pitcher, batting .455 in 11 at bats. Shortstop under budget? Go for Leo Jimenez, who has favorable matchups while saving you a lot of money. Lastly, Joey Loperfito in the outfield is a great value play as he's making his debut and has been impressive in AAA. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video, or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Thanks again for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. Thanks again and good luck.